I'm Dave. You're watching Dave's Taste Buds, and welcome back. I got another great episode for you today. The easiest pasta dish in the world. Something you can just whip together in no time at all. Pasta carbonara. That's it. That is the first and last time I'm even going to attempt to say carbonara like it should be said. I'm going to say it like I say it all the time. Carbonara. Mm, that doesn't sound right. I don't know. It's up here in New England. I lose the R's all over the place. It's, it's carbonara. I could say carbonara, but I'm not going to. It's carbonara. So uh, easy. Let's get into it. If you're looking for that dish that you want to throw together in no time at all, by the time you're done cooking your pasta, you can have everything else already done. It's so simple. Let's get right into it. But before we, before we do, just hit that subscribe button. In fact, smash that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. It's going to be worth it. You're going to stick around to the end and see how delicious this is going to look. Pan, medium heat. Whoops. How about any heat at all? There we go. So pan, medium heat, we're gonna cook down this guanciale. Now, this guanciale has plenty of fat on it. You don't even need to add oil to your pan. And you certainly don't wanna get this really crispy and burnt right off the rip. So once you get to like a medium heat, guanciale's going in. And even once we just barely start to get this going, because everything's gonna happen fast in this pan. So once you hear it start to sizzle, you can move on to the next part. It's good. But you're gonna wanna be able to keep an eye on it. So we're gonna turn this heat down a little bit. It's gonna slide that right over there. Boom. Four egg yolks. This is about quarter cup, I guess. Quarter cup. Pecorino cheese. You could use parm. You could use pecorino romano. You could use any hard Italian cheese you like. You'll have to excuse me. I'm going to have to keep reaching forward just to move this around and make sure we don't burn that. Four egg yolks. One egg yolk per person plus an extra one for the pot. I don't know. That's what I read somewhere. <laughs> sure you did. So I also separated these in that crazy way that I saw on Instagram and TikTok, where you take the, the bottle and you stick it into the egg and you suck it out. Crazy, right? It actually works. Four egg yolks into a bowl. Cheese. Now this is essentially going to make your sauce. It's technically gonna make a sauce. And all you're gonna wanna do is mix that up. Just incorporate that cheese and egg together. And that is your carbonara sauce. That's it. Rich, why don't I hear anything? Oh, for heaven's sakes. So that's our sauce. I'm gonna set that aside. No heavy cream, no cream, no milk, God forbid. It's not Alfredo. It's carbonara. That's good to go. We're gonna set that aside. And we're also gonna wanna have set aside too is when you're spaghetti or whatever kind of pasta you wanna use. I, I mean, I just had thin spaghetti in the house that was fresh that I wanted to use, so I used that. Typically, I, I mean, I'm a big, Linguini fan, I'm a fettuccine fan. This classically is just made with regular spaghetti, so that's what I went with. Get a nice sizzle going on in here. There we go. And from your pot, you're just gonna wanna have some pasta water set aside. Remove that. Let's, uh, where's my cutting board? Holy cow. This is what happens sometimes when I'm trying to do too much at the same time. All right, looking good. I'm taping three episodes simultaneously. I got ice cream in the freezer that I made homemade. Check out that. I got all my stuff prepped up earlier and my B-roll and everything set up from my egg fried rice, which is also coming up next. But for now, it's pasta carbonara. 
that's what you came to see, and that's what I'm going to show you. There we go. This is looking good. Can you see that? Hmm? That's what you want. You don't want it too crispy. And it smells like bacon, but it's not quite the same. It's almost not quite as cured. It's certainly not smoked like some of your bacons are. That's how we do that. Set that aside. We got this. We got this. Oh, I'm telling you. There's really not much to it. Once we get this cooked a little bit more, we're literally just going to do everything right in this pan. Let me grab. And you don't need any extra heat. There's going to be plenty of heat from that pan that's going to cook off the eggs that are in this sauce. In fact, let's, uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's put that aside. Make a mess. I'm going to kill the heat, take it off the heat, see that, cooks down, we got plenty of fat in there, very nice. This, um, this isn't in every recipe, but I mean, I don't know how we don't just put a little garlic in there, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Again, heat from the pan, it's going to take care of that for us. And let's go right into this with our pot. We're not going to be afraid to get any little bit of water in there because it's going in there anyway. Hear that? That should be good. I cooked off a pound of pasta, but I think with the four egg yolks, probably go, go with that. It's probably three quarters. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah. Then, mix that around a little bit. Our sauce, quote unquote, is just gonna go right in there. There we go, nice. Very nice. Still got the heat from the pan. Got the heat from the pasta. It's gonna mix, stir, toss, stir. Get this all incorporated. I kinda wanted to try these new tongs for this, but you know what? I don't think that's the right tool. I really, really don't. Let's go with the the bigger tongs. But essentially, I mean, you're there already. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, it's just so easy. You just decide you're gonna make it, just make it. You got bacon in the house. As long as you have bacon in the house, everything else, it's kind of a standard in the house. Now's when you're gonna to wanna to just add a little bit of pasta water. I'm just gonna stretch that sauce a little bit. Get that creamy look to it, see? Look at that. Pasta water. Yeah. The starchiness from the pasta. It's gonna mix in with our sauce and the cheese and the egg yolks. That's it. That's it. Really, I mean, at this point, I'm really just playing with it, you know? It's because it looks so good. Let's plate this up. Let's plate it up. Let's get one of these bowls. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. I'm already thinking, how am I gonna taste this without the spaghetti flicking all over the place and getting all over my jacket? And then I'm gonna have to change because I'm not done taping for the day. Worth it, you know? Maybe this is a time we use these. I just wanna try to use these new tongs. Yeah, that's good. 
He would do like a little twirl thing, get all fancy. Oh yeah. Get that in there. I wanna make sure we have enough. We gotta get that guanciale in here. It's half the dish, right? There we go. There we go. How easy was that? Super, super simple. I'm just gonna move that so you can see from there. Look at that. Whoop. Bam. I'm gonna top that. It's a little bit more of our cheese. And that's it. If you got a little fresh parsley around, feel free. Throw that on there. In fact, I actually happen to have a little. Just gonna put that right on top, just for yucks. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, make sure. That. Beautiful, beautiful. And how easy was that? I mean, by the time you can cook pasta, you can make this. Impress your friends, impress your family. Whip something up. Ooh, it looks hot. Where is that, Charlie? Delicioso. That was just awful. Sorry I keep making these terrible jokes. But this is delicious. Go make it. I mean, it's easy. So, pull all your ingredients together, whip this together. But don't forget, I got video up here. I got a bunch of videos down here. I got this little subscribe button. All you gotta do is hit it. Really trying to grow this channel, guys. So I appreciate you watching. And, um, Quick, easy one today. So do all that stuff. Like, subscribe, watch the other videos. And when you're done doing all that, go cook something.